Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Tuesday. And we're going to start with the class. Of course, this is the first class of unit four, section four. And uh, here is the, the question for today's class. So remember to move on with the platform, okay? We need to finish this week. On the weekend, we need to do the final test. So it's very important for you to move on. Okay, we're going to check the attendance, of course. Just a few people right now. Okay. 
Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Carmen Yasmín López Martínez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Ok. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Ores Jana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solorzan. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, so we are going to start the class for today. Uh, let's see. Perfect, Lourdes, I will check on you. Uh, Okay. Okay, so let's start the class of today. Okay, so yesterday we were checking about the indefinite uh, pronouns, right? Do you remember anybody, anything, um, no one, somebody, something, all those that are not a specific right so this is the 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 other one but this is the article okay the definite article so that is the of course you know that one but there are certain rules that we need to be careful about whenever we're going to use it mostly when writing so that is very very important Let's start and analyze about this one. So, Osmin, could you please read the first part? Okay, teacher. Uh, excuse me, give me a second, please, teacher. Of yeah. course. Okay. Uh, the, the, the defined article. Definite. Okay, thank you. The definite article, uh, there is used before a noun to indicate that the identity 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 of the nouns is now to, to the reader that in, in, in definitely article a n is used for a noun that is general or when its identity is not now there are certain uh, situations is which a noun, a noun takes no article. Okay, so this is the first approach. So the definite article is the, right? T-H-E, the. And that one is used before a noun, okay? As in Spanish, right? Before a noun. To indicate that the identity of the noun is known to the reader. 
So the reader or the person that you're talking with, they know the identity of the noun. You know what you're talking about, that is it. Uh, this is specific, right? There, this one. So that is specific. On the other hand, do you remember the indefinite article? That is a or an, okay? Remember that a is before a consonant sound and an is before an, a vowel sound, noun, okay? So the indefinite article a or an is just before a noun that is general or when its identity is not known. We don't know. A student, we don't know which student. The student, we know which student. That is the difference. So there are certain situations in which a noun takes no article. So do you have any questions on this one? Is clear the first part? So we have two articles, the, that is the definite, the specific, and we have the indefinite that is a or an. The indefinite is when you don't know who you're talking about. A restaurant, any restaurant, no specific restaurant, the restaurant, that restaurant, only one restaurant, the specific restaurant, that is it. Yeah. Yeah. A is when no is specific uh, uh, object of any anything, the cosa. N okay. is when I speak the restaurant specific. For example, uh, Pizza Hut is specific, yeah? No. The no. difference is this. The difference yeah. is, is, for example, in mind that we're speaking about what can I say? Um, a car. Okay, any car. So you say a car. That's not specific. Um, yeah, yeah. But, you say, but whenever you say, uh, imagine that your boss or uh, your brother comes to your house and he parks the cars outside on the street and you say, uh, the, that is, um, the car is not parked well there, so the car. So that is specific because it's your brother's car. So it's specific yeah. because you understand the identity of the car. It's not any car, it's the exactly. car. It's the brother, yeah. Okay, so that is it, More, mostly yeah. like that is it. So it was whenever you are able to identify whose car is it, a car, any car. The car of my brother is outside, is that car, only that car, no other car. Right, okay, teachers. Yeah. Good, perfect. Any other question about this one? No more questions. Okay, if you don't have more questions, we're going to continue because as I was telling you, there are different rules about that, okay? So let's see, a uh, floor, could you please read this part? Hello, floor. Uh, okay, okay, hola, teacher. Okay, hello. Um, the definite article, definite. The... Uh -huh. excuse me? The definite. Definite. The definite article D, D is the most frequent word in English. We use the definite article in front of a noun when we believe the listener reader. Reader. Reader knows. Exactly what we are referring to, because there is only one. The Pope is visiting Russia, Russia 
the moon is very bright tonight. Bright. Bright. The moon is very bright tonight. Next. Yes, please. Who is the president of France? Okay, that is it. Perfect. So, the definite article is the most frequent word in English. Imagine that one. So, that is the most frequent word that people use in English. We use the definite article in front of a noun when we believe the listener reader knows exactly what we are referring to. So there are different situations, for example, because there is only one, so only one thing in the world, in the universe or anything. For example, the pop is visiting Russia, the pop. In the world, there is only one pop, that is for the Catholic Church. So the Pope is visiting Russia, only one pop. So it's the pop, okay? The moon is very bright tonight. There is only one moon. So that's why it's the moon, okay? Uh, what is bright? Do you remember what is bright? What is bright? Um, when some something is shining. Very good. Brilliant. Very good. Perfect, Rose. That is it. So something bright is something that is very brilliant, something that is very really shiny, right? Of course, you can say the moon is very bright tonight. Good. And the other one, it says, who is the president of France? The president of France. There is only one president, okay? So in those situations, we're going to use the because we are referring just to one thing that is unique, only one. Any questions about this usage? Who is the person of France? Is it specific? Uh, in this case, the situation is when there is only one in the world. Yeah. Okay. Yes. For example, the moon, right? Only one moon, no other moons. Yeah. Okay. And it says, um, that is why we use the definite article with a superlative adjective. I mean, because there is only one, the biggest one, right? The tallest one. So that means that since it's unique, it's only one, that's why we use the in the superlative. For example, he's the tallest boy in the class. It is the oldest building in the town. The oldest, the, the one, the only one, the must, right? So that is the reason why we use the with superlative because there is only one. The other one is comparative, less and things like that. But the must is only one. Questions before we move on? No questions. Clear as a chat. Oh, okay. We are going to check into the other one. So, uh, the this uh, is going to be for Rose. Could you please this one, Rose? Okay. Um, we we live because. Oh, okay. Because there is only one. Oh. But because there is only one in that context. We live in a small house next to the church. Equal the church in our village. Dad, can I borrow the car? Equal the, the car that belongs to our family. When we stayed at my grandmother's house, we went to the beach every day. The beach near my grandmother's house. Look at the boy over there. The boy, and I'm pointing at. Very good. So, in this one is because it's the only one in the context. 
as the example that we were discussing with Osmin, right? A car is any car. The car of my brother is just one in that context, okay? My brother only has one car, okay? And he's outside parking. So in the context is the only one, only in the context. For example, we live in a small house next to the church. So then in the neighborhood, there is only one church. I mean, and you, I live next to the church. So there are no other churches. If you are in the neighborhood and you are passing through and you see the church, that's it, okay? Dad, can I borrow the car? The car, because we have only one car. So you can take the car. In other words, it could be, imagine that you have two cars. You can say the blue car, the white car, or something like that. When we stayed at my grandmother's house, we went to the beach every day. The beach there in the city of my grandmother's. So in that context, there's only one beach there, okay? Look at the boy over there. So there are many boys, but I'm pointing just at one, that boy, that specific boy. So that's why he's the boy, no a boy, any boy. Questions about this one? Like an example in, the, in that case, can I say, I like the new shoes of my daughter? You can say something like that because you're speaking about something specific. The mm -hmm. most common is to say my, my daughter's new shoes so because there are many ways to say something but yeah. you can say it in that way as well yeah okay okay let's read about uh, the other one this one is going to be for let's see Ada Patricia the second because here okay because we have already mentioned a human got a nasty shock when he tried to roll a jewelry shop in Richmond. The man uses a heavy hammer to, mesh, to, to, to smash the window in this shop. Good. So this is another example of how to use that because you already mentioned the person, the, the noun. So for example, this example is very clear. A young man, so a young man, in that case, you can see a, a young man, any man, I don't know who he is. A young man got a nasty shock when he tried to rob a jewelry shop in Richmond. The man, in that case is specific because we mentioned already that he's a young man. So that man that we spoke before, the one that we are talking about, that man, used a heavy hammer to smash the windows in the shop. So because you mentioned before a young man, in the second, you can say the man, that man, that specific man. Uh, let's check some, uh, let's check some vocabulary. Nasty, what is nasty? Something this disgusting. Something disgusting, very good. Something okay. not good, not clean. Something, not... Uh -huh. Something that you don't like it. Very good. So it's that like is <laughs> that is good. In English is yuck, yuck. Uh, okay, yuck. <laughs> yuck. Okay, shock. What is shock? I mean, that is in, in Spanish we use it like that, but what is shock? A shock is like a, a big impact, impact, maybe. Very good, a big impact. That is a shock, good. When you, when you surprise. Surprise, when you're shocked. Surprise, you... but surprise, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it could be good or it could be uh, bad, yeah. but it's a shock, yeah. so it's like. Yeah. 
What is uh, to rub? He tried to rub. What is rub? Okay, to rub is a synonym of steal. So when a thief goes and try to, for example, here in Salvador is very popular that uh, somebody wants to rob your cell phone, right? Give me your cell phone. So that is a rob, robbery. What is jewelry? Uh -huh, anybody, what is a jewelry? No, go ahead. No, come on, pause me. Okay, I I very mistake. But uh, jewelry it's a store. Is a store of. Uh, uh, what do you say, Brenda? Um, how do you say which word? I'm sorry. Yeah, Brenda, the valor example. Uh, valuable things, stuff, uh huh? Yeah, this is, I, I, I think, a uh, jewelry. Okay, jewelry. good, jewelry. Somebody was going to say something else. Maybe diamond? Diamonds, yeah. Diamonds. Okay. Ruby? Yeah, your ruby. So there are like, fancy and expensive things like necklaces or bracelet, rings, things like that one, earrings. So those are jewelry. So he tried to rob a jewelry and then it says, they might use a heavy hammer. What is a hammer? Is it tool that Carpenters use to put a, a clavo. I don't remember. <laughs> a clavo. <laughs> a nail. 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 Okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah, that is like a tool for carpenters or people that work uh, with tools, right? Building things. So you can hit something. In this case, he hit at the window. So smash is to hit something, to, to break a lot of things, to break something into pieces. So that is it. So whenever we are referring to somebody or something that we already mentioned, we can use the for that one. Any questions about this? Questions? Okay, so the next one is going to be uh, this one. Okay, this is just one. Okay, let's see, uh, Gloria. Okay, to say something? Mm -hmm. Yes, to say something about uh, the thing uh, referred to by a noun. The wolf is not really a dangerous animal. And wolves are not really dangerous animals. The kangaroo is found only in Australia. Kangaroos are found only in Australia. The hair pumps blow, blow around the body. Her phone blow around body. Okay, very good. So we also use the definite article to say something about all things referred to by a noun. So when we say the wolf, we're saying in general, all the wolves in the world. So the wolf. And of course, if we use a singular noun, 
we are going to use a singular verb. So the wolf is not really a dangerous animal. The meaning of that one is that all wolves are not really dangerous animals. So when you say the wolf, you are referring to all the wolves in the world. The kangaroo is found only in Australia. So when you say the kangaroo, you are talking about all kangaroos. There are no other, there are no kangaroos outside of Australia. So kangaroos are found only in Australia. The heart pumps blood around the body. So all the hearts for everybody pump blood around the body. So the meaning is that the heart for everybody. Okay, so that is it. And let me see if there is any word here, maybe pump. Do you know what is pump? What is pump? Okay, to pump is like when you push something. You're pushing when you are sending something. And sometimes it's pump up. So it's going to be pump up something, right? So that would be it. Okay, the, uh, the other part is going to be for Sandra Gladys. Um, we use? Yeah, please. We use the definite article in this way to talk about musical instrument. Okay, let's continue, please. Jo plays the piano really well. She is learning the guitar. Very good. So when we are used about musical instruments, also we use the, the, the definite article. So Jo plays the piano really well. She is learning the guitar. Okay, because it's, it's just an instrument, okay? Any questions about this? No questions. Okay, let's move on. So there are a little bit more rules on this one. Okay, so this one is going to be for, let's see, Susanna, could you please help us with this? Okay, mm -hmm. to refer, mm -hmm. to refer to us to a system or service. How long does it take to the train? I heard into, I heard it on the radio. You should tell the police. Good. So when we're talking about a system or a service, we're going to use a, a the. For example, the education. You can say that one. The education in, uh, I'm working to improve the education or something, for example. How long does it take on the train? The train. I had it on the radio. That is like a service, right? You should tell the police, okay? So in general, the service of the police. Any questions with this? No questions, okay. We have a little bit more. Okay, this one is going to be for, let's see. Carla Vasquez. Okay, we can also use the define, define? Definite. Or definite article with adjective like rich, poor, elderly, and unemployed to talk about group of people. Life can be very hard for the poor. I think the rich should pay more taxes. She works for a group to help the, the dis disabled. 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 
Very good. So this is the next one. We can also use the definite article with adjectives like rich, poor, elderly, unemployed to talk about groups of people. This is important. It's when we are speaking about a group of people. So the poor is a group of people. The rich is a group of people. The elderly, a group of people. So example, life can be very hard for the poor. I think the rich should pay more taxes. She works for a group to help the disabled. The disabled are like people that um, have something like, for example, a person that is in wheelchair or something that is deaf or blind. So we say disabled for that one. Any questions with this? Uh, an example of uh, mm, how, how to say when noise a group of people when it's individual wise. Uh, yeah, you can use poor when you are not referring to a a group of people i mean he is a poor man a poor man for example in that case it's just talking about one person right a poor baby that he's saying in english sometimes so it's it's like that in this case we're talking about demographics we're talking about a group of people representing by that that adjective in, in this case the poor is in general in general Good, perfect. Any other question? Okay, a little bit more. So, uh, this one is going to be for Pamela. We not, uh, it's written right. Yeah, please. We do not normally use the definite article with names. William Shakespeare wrote Hamlet. Paris is the capital of France. Iran is in Asia. The okay. next one. Hey, no, that is fine. The next one for other. Okay. Thank you. So when we are using names, we do not use the article. You can say there William Shakespeare or the Carla Vasquez, for example. So that is not good, okay? Of course, that is very easy for us to handle. So we say William Shakespeare, not the, wrote the Hamlet. Paris is the capital of France, not the France, of course. Iran is in Asia, not the Asia. So I guess this is very easy. Okay, but, okay, the next one is going to be for Sandra Romero. Hello, Sandra Romero. Hello, teacher. Which one? I'm sorry. Uh, yes, what it says, but we do use. But we do use the different article with countries whose names include words like kingdom, state, or republic. The United Kingdom, the United, the United Kingdom, the Kingdom of Ruthen, the United States, the People's Republic of China. Countries which have plural nouns as their names, the Netherlands, the Philippines. Good, perfect. So that is very easy. Uh, we are going to use uh, the definite article with countries whose names include words like kingdom because it's a group of states, cities, uh, countries, states, because there are many states, a group of states, or republic. Okay. So, for example, the United Kingdom. Remember that when we, when we have the before a word that is with a vowel sound, the pronunciation is the, the United Kingdom. But when it's a consonant sound, the next word is going to be the. For example, the Kingdom of Bhutan. So the United States, the People's Republic of China. So, when we have a republic, state, kingdom, we're going to use the. 
for the name of countries and also for countries which have plural nouns as their name, like the Netherlands, the Philippines. So that is going to be with the, because it's grouping everything. Any questions with this one? No questions. Very nice. A little bit more. So let's see. I'm going to read this one. Geographical features such as mountain ranges, groups of islands. Remember the pronunciation is islands. Uh, rivers, seas, oceans, and canals. So, for example, the Himalayas, because it's a group of mountains, right? The Canaries, because it's a group of islands. The Atlantic Ocean, because are seas together. The Amazon, because it's like a forest, a group of many things there. The Panama Canal, that is like a canal, of course. So in that, in those situations, we're going to use the the. That is very important. Also, when we're speaking about newspapers, so the New York Times, the Washington Post. So when we're speaking about newspapers in English, it's going to be the, all of the time. The other one says, when we're talking about well-known buildings or works of art. So when we're talking about buildings that are very popular and that everybody knows, or when we're talking about pieces of art that are very common and everybody knows, very popular. For example, the Empire State Building. So we know that building in New York, right? Everybody knows that building. So we say the, because it's very common. It's the, un the, the only one, the unique, right? The Empire State Building, the Taj Mahal, okay? It's unique as well. We know that one. The Mona Lisa, because we know that painting that is very, very famous. Also, when we're talking about organizations, for example, the United Nations, the Siemens Union. So when we're talking about organizations, we're going to use the all of the time. And also when we're talking about hotels, pubs that are like bars and restaurants, the Ritz, the Ritz Hotel, the King's Head, the Deja Vu. So when we're talking about this kind of situation, hotels, bars, restaurants, we're going to use the for the names of them. Okay, do you have any questions about these things? Teacher. Yep. Because something it is pronounces the and other time D. When the next word, the sound starts with a vowel, it's D. When the next word after the, uh, the sound starts with a consonant, is the. So for example, the times, because times is consonant, yes. the Washington Post. But in the other one, the Empire State Building, because empire is the sound with vowel. Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Any other questions? Questions, my friends. No questions. You can see that there are many rules, but I believe that it's not that difficult. Okay. Uh, it says, but, Note that we do not use the definite article if the name of the hotel or restaurant is the name of the owner. For example, Brown's, Brown's Hotel, Models, Models Restaurant. So we don't say the Brown's Hotel, no. 
If it's another name or like a last name, it might be. But if it's the name, I mean the main name, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. The Ritz, yes. Brands Hotel, that's different. Also, when we're talking about families, yeah, we can use the the Obamas, the Jacksons. So in those kind of situations, yes, we can use the definite article the because it's very specific. Good. Any questions with this one? In this case, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, in this case, the is Obama and Jackson is that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when we're talking about the family, a family that is very popular knowing or anything like that, yeah, we can use the. Yeah. Only, teacher, yep. only use, use our article. Uh huh. Only use article. I just don't get your question. Could you please repeat? Article D. D. Uh huh. So in these situations that we check is when you are going to use the article the. Mm -hmm. So there are many situations and we need to try to remember, of course. Uh, but it's very similar. I mean, I know that you know because we use this a lot, a lot of times, right? In, in Bronze Hotel is the uh, pertenencia? Yeah, no, but it's going to be also because there is the name. The name uh, is on the hotel so that's why we're not going to use that one it's better to say brown's hotel because it's the, the hotel of mr brown for example so yes, that yes. Case, we're going to use the positive instead Name. of that yeah okay good any other question No more questions. Okay, my friends. So uh, we're going to check a little video before we check the attendance. This is going to be about the topic that we are starting with this module that is M Commerce. It's going to be very short. Remember that at the end, you are going to tell me your opinion, your comments about the video. Of course, here we go. Oops, here we go. People like things nice and simple, right? Like the convenience of being able to pay or be paid for goods and services provided over the internet. But what if you don't have a bank account? That would mean a majority of the people in the world not having access to easier and safer transactions. But guess what? Some 1.7 billion of these people do have access to a mobile phone. So how can that help them avoid the risk, cost and inconvenience of using cash? Well, that's where M-Commerce comes in. M-Commerce enables people to conduct financial transactions using a mobile device like a cell phone or a tablet. The phone becomes a kind of a mobile wallet. But it's not just for pocket money. It can give you access to bank accounts, credit and access cards, loyalty cards, coupons. And it allows you to transfer money anytime, anywhere. So this means a world of new services for just about everyone, from those that don't have a bank account to those that do but would like the freedom to take their finances truly mobile. The Ericsson Wallet platform, for example, enables secure and convenient mobile financial services such as money transfers and making payments. And using Ericsson Converged Wallet, there are 1.7 billion mobile accounts connected to Ericsson's charging system that could easily be turned into mobile wallets. 2012 meant a big step for M-Commerce as Ericsson and Western Union formed a strategic alliance. Mobile network operators can now offer their subscribers the world's largest money transfer network. And we're talking a lot of money. $350 billion are transferred annually, person to person, over mobile devices. And the ecosystem to support M-Commerce is growing rapidly. 
Ericsson's M-Commerce Interconnect is a technology that will allow interoperability between operators and service providers, such as banks, stores and payment networks. So, it's exciting times for the M-Commerce industry, which is expected to process more than 800 billion US dollars by 2016. And with a world of 50 billion connected devices expected by 2020, the implications and possibilities for how we manage and use our money are profound. Okay, what did you understand on this one? The history of the e-commerce. M-commerce, right? So what is M-commerce, well, first of all? Purchase the internet. Okay, very good. So you can purchase it, over the internet. Uh -huh. It is another way, teacher, to to buy. And, and it, it is um, a different way to get some products or get some purchase by online. Very good. So that will be uh, more specific using your mobile phone, right? So that's why it's M uh, commerce because it's going to refer to not only online but also through your cell phone because I mean here in El Salvador I don't know a single person that do not have a phone number. A phone I mean do you know somebody that doesn't have a phone? Everybody has a phone. So even when they don't go to the bank, they sometimes make transactions. They send money, receive money, purchase things, even if they don't have a bank account. So that is a problem. Go ahead. Yeah, I am um, in my job. I can see many co-workers making some transaction by his, their cell phone, for example. They can transfer money for account bank account another and or pay some bills or get some product paying by by his uh, their cell phone and i i don't know it is it is um uh, and commerce it is a uh, this way to to get purchase or pay yeah actually that is it exactly what you described is M commerce that is going to be uh, on the cell phones. I mean, it's going to be uh, any kind of transaction that you want to do to send money, receive money, to get some product, to uh, I don't know, to connect in different ways. So that is M commerce transactions through your cell phone. Perfect. Any other comment or opinion? No more, okay. So we're going to continue with unit four. It says, I will be able to describe specific influences of technology in the e-commerce customer experience of the future. Okay, so number one, it says, question for everybody. Do you think the development of virtual reality will play an important role in the future for e-commerce? What do you think? Virtual reality, that's the question. It's very important, teacher. Uh -huh. E-commerce, e because uh, canals, canals, uh, translation, uh, raw material, article, e okay. e for future is very, very important. Yeah, I mean, uh, transactions and everything is very important, but what about virtual reality? You know what is virtual reality? For example, when you use some, some glasses and some gloves and you are able to, to interact with a virtual Interacting. world. Maybe I think that, yeah. Uh, will play an important role because imagine the virtual reality. Maybe you can imagine that you are touching 
the product or the I don't know the many things. It's 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 very very crazy, but it's the truth. Nowadays, you can the 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 young the young people the the teenagers can prove the games with a virtual reality and it's amazing I think and imagine in the commerce in it, for the commerce very good actually that is it I mean imagine I mean right now for example at the beginning of this uh, uh, this module we were speaking do you prefer to go to the store or do you prefer to, to shop online? Some people say, no, I prefer to go to the store and see the article and touch. And some other people says, no, I prefer online because it's easy, more convenient. But purchasing with virtual reality is going to be the solution. I mean, the two yeah. things together, you can go to the store, but you shop online at the same time you are there in your house and you get your gadgets and then you go to the store and it's like browsing there on the store and maybe you cannot touch it but you can experience in a different way so that might be fantastic in mind that thing easy easy purchase yes. the online and quickly exactly. to make Products more exactly. convincing, more convincing to buy. Yeah, I mean that should be fantastic, right? I mean it's something that is like from the movies, right? But uh, I mean, if you see, uh, maybe we are not going to have flying cars, but everything is moving for the for the business, right? If the business is required, of course we are going to get something like that. So facility, facility for business, exactly. but company. Yeah, it's going to be more convenient for both for the business and also for us, the customers. Very nice. Hmm? Well, yes, I would like teacher. to uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, yes, teacher. I, I think the uh, call is very, very important. Mm. Uh, because there is no opportunity for how do you say robo? How do you say I'm sorry? Este, robar, robar, robar. Uh, still, rob, still, you can say. Okay, no, actually, uh, because I don't have money in my pocket, uh, in my house, uh, 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 I call and the service in my door, no traffic, anything. Yeah, I mean, my old, go ahead, I'm sorry. This, this is advantage, e-commerce online. Exactly. So it's going to be fantastic, right? Because in my, everything that Osmin said, no traffic is very secure and uh, you are going to be there in your house. Uh, if it's raining, for example, you don't have to get wet and things like that, right? But uh, also you will have the experience of uh, seeing the, the products to manipulate in some way the products and check, for example, about the size, the texture, uh, if it fits, things like that. So I believe it might be a very good experience. Okay, so we're going to stop for a while because it's time for us to check the attendance. Time flies. Here we go. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. There. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. 
José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Arribas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Perfect. So let's continue. We're going to continue with the book. Okay, so uh, this is uh, a conversation that we're going to check. It says, Jose and Tito are talking about their customer experience in a new store. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it with a partner. As usual, I'm going to say all the conversation. You tell me any pronunciation questions, and then you are going to practice, and then we're going to check if possible any vocabulary. So here we go. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. The augmented reality tour the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, and a streaming from their latest live concerts. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Any pronunciation questions? Mm, yes, in the, in the first part of Tito, the album in the last, skill. Yeah. Intervention of Tito. Uh, Don, uh, excuse me, downloads. What is the pronunciation card? Okay, that one is downloads. Downloads. Download, okay. Downloads, yeah. I'm sorry, could you please repeat your question, Lourdes? Yes, what is the pronunciation for the au augmented? Augmented. Augmented. Augmented, yeah. Okay. Good. Any other pronunciation questions? The word is a Tito, a West Sam. Awesome. 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 Okay. Awesome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other pronunciation question? It's called in. Incredible or incredible? Incredible. Incredible. Okay. Incredible. Good. Any other? In the Jose de Sec the third paragraph in the Musian. 
Musician. Before pictures. Yeah, musician. Okay, any other? A teacher, late, latest. 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 Any other? This one has many good questions on pronunciation. Good. So, any other? Any other pronunciation questions? No oh, more questions. Okay. Okay, let's practice then, of course. So it's your turn. Ada, Patricia, and Osmin. Okay, can you please, Ada? Me? Yes, please. Okay. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it is. I, I, I was some, awesome. the argument. Excuse me, teacher. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. The argument really told that the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the code on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, musician. and musician pictures and streaming for their la latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for the free album downloads. Very good, perfect. Now, Lourdes and Nelson. Okay. I am Jose. Okay, uh, Nelson, you are going to be Tito. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Hello, Nelson, are you here? Not possible. Okay, Rose, could you please help? Okay, okay, Lourdes, start again. Okay. <laughs> hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. The augmented reality tool the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, picture, and, and I streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for Fiambo for free album downloads. Very good, perfect. Okay, the next one is going to be for Gloria and Carla. Carlita. Okay, hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. Awesome. The, awesome. The owner really saw the staff prepare what Incredible. Yes, it was. You just have to scan the call of the CDs to the to get the information of the musician picture and streaming from their latest live concert. Latest. Yes. Latest. Latest. Thank you. But the best part were the promotional call. For free album download. Very good, perfect. Now the next one is Wilfredo and Jasmine. Will you start, Jasmine? Yes, I can start. Um, hey, have you been to the new story in town? Oh yes, it is awesome. The argument really tore the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just have to scan the codes on the CDEs to get the information of the mission picture and 
musician pictures in and streaming from their left for the latest late, latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for free album downloads. Very good, perfect. Now, Adrian and uh, Wendy, is possible for you, Wendy? Okay. Um, not possible for Wendy, I guess. Okay, so Adrian and Sandra Gladys. Okay. okay. Uh, we start, Sandra. When, hey, how would you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes. It's awesome. The argument really to the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan, to, uh, had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician picture and I streaming for from their last live concert. Live concert. Thank you. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for the free album downloads. Very good, perfect. The next one is Susana. Is possible for you, Susana? Maybe not. Okay, Sandra Romero and Floor. Okay, teacher. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The argument really tore the start to prepare was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes and the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures and streaming for the latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional code for, for free album downloads. Very good, perfect. Now, Zulma and Ophelia. <laughs> Okay, um, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, I asked for the argument ready. I to the staff of our partner. I was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the museum, pictures, and streaming from their late live concert. Yeah, I bought the box. I part I wear the promotion. I codes are for free album dollar. Okay, good. So the next one is going to be Walter Mauricio and Jose Ernesto. Okay. Who is that? Um, I am a star. Okay. Okay. I'm Jose. Hey. <laughs> hey. Had you been to the new store in two? In town. Town. Oh, yes. It's awesome. The augmented reality tour. Really, tour the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was you just and to scan the code for the CDs and to get the information of the musician picture and streaming from there and latest lead concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional cuts for free album downloads. Very good, perfect. Now, um, Michelle, is possible for you? Yes, teacher. Good, so Michelle and Amaira, is possible for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's work. Okay. okay. Hey, 
Have you been the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The almond really tour the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information, the musician, pictures, and the streaming for their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part was where the promotional codes for free albums download. Very good, perfect. Now, Ricardo and Pamela. Okay. Hello, Pamela, are you here with us? Not possible. Okay, so uh, Jasmine, could you please help Ricardo? No, that. <laughs> um, hello, Jasmine. Okay. <laughs> Well, like, in, like in the parties, right? That you uh, yes. shall with them, and they say, No, I don't want it. Okay, okay. solito, solito. Okay, you can read it. <laughs> okay, hey, how you been today? New store in the town. Oh, yes, is our awesome. They are awesome. They argument, rally, tour. They stuff preparing. Was incredible. Yes. Is what you used to have to stay the call on day C to get the information of the music, musician, picture, musician, picture, and a string for the ladder, like connection, like connection. Yeah, but the best part where the promotion for the free album don't download it's very download. good download okay very good download. Download. nice that was good perfect okay okay let's check some pronunciation uh tips uh you have been in the new story awesome remember this one is awesome the trick in this one is that the e we don't say the first e awesome awesome awesome, awesome. Awesome, yeah. Awesome, okay. Uh, this one is augmented. I mean, this is very similar to Spanish, augmented. Argument. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, incredible, remember that this is incredible. It's a don download one, downloads. Uh, downloads, yeah. Downloads, yes. Downloads. Okay. Downloads is code? Codes. Codes. Yeah, codes. Musical. No, this one is musician. 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 And uh, the other one is streaming. Sorry? Streaming. Streaming. Yeah. Okay. It's a uh, CD? Uh -huh, CD, yeah. Uh, CD. Okay. In this case, it's CDs because it's plural, right? Ah, uh, okay. It's a tom. Uh, I'm sorry? Tom. It's a fear a paragraph. It's a town. The new, new store in, in town. 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 In town. Mm -hmm. uh, town. Eh, teacher, he estado viendo y escuchando unas como unas conversaciones, conversation. Is uh, hay hay palabras como que no como que no las pronuncian cuando dicen completamente la oración, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, acá, por, por ejemplo, di, digamos que sería, hey, have you been, been, sería aquí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Been to the new store, tall. Uh, the thing is that sometimes in American English, uh, they speak and they blend the sounds. So that's why sometimes they don't mention some things. It says, speaking is much flesh. Yeah, sometimes it's faster, huh? Or faster. they they blend the sounds. So sometimes, uh -huh. what can I tell you? Let's see. I don't know if there is an example here. Okay, but uh, what, otra 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 pregunta que quizás eh, no la no la había podido hacer. Cuando nosotros eh, nosotros que estamos aprendiendo eh, este idioma, eh, la la lectura de la parte del del de, de la 
obvio, de las palabras en inglés, tienen que ser lentas o lo más rápido posible. Depende para qué está leyendo. Por ejemplo, en, okay. este, en esta situación nosotros leemos tranquilo, despacio, porque estamos viendo la pronunciación. Okay. Pero si usted está queriendo ser más fluent, entonces hay que leer rápido. Ah, pero lo, 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 lo normal es rápido. Cuando ya uno ya lo, ya lo practica bien, o sea, ya es rápido. Sí, lo que pasa es de que eh, cuando está leyendo algo, una lectura, entonces... Tiene que ser entendible, quizás es ah, más importante ah, la ah, pronunciation y la entonación. Ah, Habrá personas que lean más rápido que otros, pero that, eso depende de, de cada quien. Y igual igual la, la, la pronunciación, hay personas que se les escucha totalmente diferente la misma palabra, porque he estado siempre viendo algunos, algunos párrafos que lo, digamos, un gringo nacido ya, nación nacional allá, por decirlo así, hay palabras que las dicen no perfectas, sino que las dicen como entre, como entre mordidas. Pero una persona que es latina y que ha aprendido el inglés, el idioma allá, nos dice quizás un poquito más claras. Si eso pasa también dependiendo, ah, sí, las dos cosas son importantes. Lo primero es okay. la región de donde ellos son, porque no es lo mismo estar hablando con alguien de Mississippi que con alguien de Washington o con alguien de Nebraska. Okay. So it's not, it's not the same. Sometimes the pronunciation changes. Y lo que usted dice a nosotros, o sea, aunque nos fuéramos a vivir unos 10 años allá de Estados Unidos, lo latino y el español eh, siempre influye en la pronunciación y en el acento. El so that, that is normal. Okay. Es, normal. Yes. es cuando, cuando, como cuando hablamos con un hindú. Creo que una vez pusimos un video donde hablaban varias personas sí. de diferentes países. Y sí, ahí se ve. Ahí sí. se ve que el, el chino habla diferente que el hindú y que, eh, I mean, that happens, that sí, happens, sí, sí. that is normal, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. So let's check some vocabulary here. So what is town? Town. Anybody? Town is the part of my important of the city. I'm sorry? The parts more important of the city mm, it's not oh, the city. part of, it's like a city but it's smaller right yeah for yeah. example for example chalchuapa is a town san salvador is a city yeah okay. uh, what is awesome anybody like incredible very good And when I say what is incredible, you can say as awesome. <laughs> That is good. Unbelievable. Very good. Good. What is to scan? Oops. Like a photo? Like a photo, uh, something like that. When you scan something little by little and you have, uh, you have everything at, at the end. Let's see what else. What is streaming? Um, online. Online, mm. very good. Yeah, online. Yeah. So, for example, in, for the, in life, in life, oh. no, I, online or in life. <laughs> yeah, there are some. Uh, there were some artists that, for the pandemic, they were doing some streaming. That yeah. means that they were playing live, live. but online, right? Okay. Good. Uh, okay, I don't see any other word. Do you have any questions on this one? No questions. Let's do the number three exercise. Check the technology that you believe will have an important role in improving customer's experience at retail stores. And then discuss with the question below. So which one do you believe are going to have an important role in customer's experience in the retail store? 3D printing, virtual reality, 3D body scanners like clothing design, self-serve kiosks like restaurants, augmented reality. So let's check about the first one, 3D printing. What is 3D printing? What do you know about that one? Uh, 
a machine could do things all about uh, with a program about 3D to make um, different products in reality as 3D. Very good. Actually, this is fantastic. I mean, you can print your own toys, your own parts of machines, your own uh, prototypes. Prototypes, yeah, is actually it's amazing. You know, this is fantastic. I want to buy one three three D printing. I don't need a three D printing, but I want to buy that one. Uh, and I mean, maybe the printing nowadays are not that expensive. They are like uh, $500, $600, a small one with the materials, with the plastic for you to print. But it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. You can do many, many things. Into that. So uh, everybody understand what is a 3D printing? Or do you have a comment about that one? Yep. Uh-huh. No, it is okay. Okay, that's fine. Virtual reality. What is virtual reality? Is the simulation of the reality, but for example, on the video games or when you are looking for a movie? And they are like playing with the reality because you feel like it's real, but not so much. And also that e-commerce or a store can use a different way for make you feel that it's real. For example, use the environment and use uh, water or incluso mold the sofa or the sound in the background. Very good, perfect, that is it. A simulation of reality, but with a device. I mean, uh, games are the most common right now, but it's not that common, of course. Uh, in some malls, uh, there are some virtual reality things uh, that you are like flying in an airplane or anything like that. So it's, it's a very good thing, uh, it's, it's interesting. What is 3D body scanners. What do you think is that? Three D body scanners. What is that? Okay, this is something that is very, very interesting. In mind that you go to a store, you go to Siman, okay? And you say, I want a jacket, but I want a jacket like this in blue with red, with leather and with two uh, pockets here and one pocket here. And I want that to be exactly for me. So you enter to a machine they scan your body in 3D and then they can create the jacket for you. So that is 3D body scanners. Have you ever seen something like that? Teacher, mm -hmm. in my company, and we had uh, the program to the design in my environment. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, my partner is a changer. The, the closing, the model and virtual 3D. Very interesting. Is the, is the other, is the other, is the other partners and the laborator uh, uh, design the program. Um, um, other, other partner? is a, uh, uh, excuse me, speaking in Spanish, este, agarra el patrón y pre, este, viste la prenda. 
Okay. Ya con, con, con medidas, con measure is correct. Okay, with pattern. Okay, interesting in mind. And oh, yes. Uh, that is very good. That is very good yeah. because you can you can change things before you build the, the clouds. It's amazing. Good. So the other one is self serve kiosks. So for restaurants, uh, anybody knows what is this? It is like when you go to the, for example, some restaurant and you order for, for delivery. Well, it's something like that. It's like, I mean, imagine that you go to a restaurant, for example, where uh, it's for pizza, for example, but you can create your own pizza, <clears throat> not um. cooking. But you go to the kiosk and you say, I want this size, I want this kind of cheese, I want these vegetables, this kind of meat. And they, uh, I mean, you just order there, your tailored uh, okay. food. You can, you can make your, your receipt. Your recipe, uh huh. So um, you can okay. order exactly. I mean, it's not that you look at the options and you don't know what to do. You go and create your own food in a kiosk, and then the restaurant prepares that for you and you eat it. So something like that is it. Uh, okay. So uh, have you ever seen something like this? Mm, in, in La Gran Vía, I remember. Um, Benihana. Benihana, yeah. In Benihana. Is, yeah. You, can, you can show you the you ingredients prepare, for your yeah. food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Benny Hanna yeah. is very good. I really like that food. <laughs> you can prepare your own food. Nice. Benny Hanna served some, some big hamburgers. Big hamburgers. Very good, man. I like that. <laughs> okay. The other one it says uh, augmented reality. What is that? Okay, teacher. Uh, augmented reality. Reality is the the term term used uh, to describe the common or set or set up technology. Yeah, it's like uh, when you have, I mean, experience that is bigger than the normal. I mean, it's not like virtual reality because that is a simulation augmented reality is when you have many other features for you to create your own world reality or things like that so that is it um, augmented maybe is when we watch we watch pictures in 3d maybe it could be something like that yeah that might be yeah, yeah. because when no, you go no, to the scene some... Ah, okay. and, and watch the 3D movies. Something like that it might be part of our mental reality because mm -hmm. the experience is better, right? Maybe Good. not nowadays. We can watch a pictures and we can move the phone, the phone, and the picture is going to turn in around uh, all the oh my god, the landscape. Very good. Yeah. That is it. Niles. Now, regarding uh, stores in the future, which of these do you believe is going to be the ones that are going to impact more? What do you think? For me, virtual reality. Virtual reality. Probably, yes, right. Imagine that kind of stores where you can go to the store from your from your living room. That one might be fantastic. So there are two questions there. Uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Nowadays, there are pages in internet that um, offers, uh, offers to, to the people to be the to, to the people that visited the page 
virtual tours. I I I get inside a tour from the oh my god the Egypt pyramids. How do you say pyramids? Pyramids, huh? Yeah, the last year I remember. I I I get a tour to the inside to the to the Egypt pyramid. That was very nice teacher. Very good, perfect. Yes. And that is very nice, not only because you can do it from here, but also because if you actually go to the pyramids, you cannot yeah. enter to them. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It's just outside and took a picture and that's it, right? So <laughs> Yeah, there are many places in the internet that you can you can take a virtual tour at the the Louvre Muse Museum too. Yeah, Louvre, Louvre, yeah, the Louvre, the Louvre, uh -huh. Louvre, Louvre Museum, yeah, that was very nice. Actually, with Google Earth, you can do that one as well. If oh, you yes. don't know the app, you can go anywhere. I mean, it's nice. It's a very nice thing. Okay, there are two questions there. So let's check on to that one. How fast is technology being implemented in retail store from your country? <laughs> what do you think? How fast can technology be implemented here in El Salvador for stores? Nobody. Mm, for in my opinion, uh, in our country, uh, is a medium time because uh, a lot, uh, a lot business or companies don't know in the technologies in the pandemic uh, i see some restaurants don't have delivery for me was surprised because uh, a lot restaurants uh, have been uh, obligated that implement delivery if the restaurant uh, don't have the, the service and the restaurants uh, that have the the service for for them uh, was not problem but uh, some restaurants uh, i see I saw uh, that don't in know in in this in this case and and I see actually that a lot enterprise enterprises uh, is is adopt uh, the technology low. Um, but uh, for example, in my company, uh, the the contability department, account, uh, account department, sorry, uh, uh, the they have a training about the invoices in in uh, digital invoices because in the in our country uh, is is obligated all the companies have adopt uh, this document but in the uh, in the virtual virtual uh, not uh, or, or yeah no not anymore no anymore uh, 
in voice in in physic in physical in only virtual and uh, step by step the companies in medium time uh, to adopt okay actually i i agree on you all i mean it's it's not the most advanced technology of course but it's not the worst technology maybe some companies yes. should improve for example maybe the internet connection should be better so we can have mm -hmm. better services and things like that but companies they are doing their best so we are in the middle right mm -hmm. yes very good perfect so the next question the second question says what are some key tech trends you're currently seeing in stores from your locality? What do you see? For example, for example, in Benihana, I mean, that one that you can go to a salsa kiosk, that is good. Any other thing that you have seen that is technology, very nice technology in stores and some businesses? I think, I think that it's not a very good technology, but in Walmart, you can uh, you can pass to the, how do you say, to the cashier and you can scan your own products. I think that is nice. And you can, you get to scan the products, you choose the ticket, and you pay i think that it's nice yeah you're right that is very good actually i mean you can go just print and pay and go and that is very convenient any other oh and uh, another also uh, uh, because the pandemic uh, in Siman, when you get in Siman, the camera that took your your temperature, and it's, I, that's cameras are very expensive. Yeah, this system is very expensive and it's nice because you only pass and they detect you, your temperature. Very good, that is true. I mean, that was very nice because it was very convenient. They don't have to have somebody that's scanning everybody. It was very good. So you can see that, yes, there are some technologies that sometimes they arrive to the country in a very good way. Okay, so this is like a review of what we were checking at the beginning. How to use the definite article there. It says, look at the examples in the box then complete the exercises below. So let's see who's gonna read. Uh -huh. uh, Jose Ernesto, could you please help me read in the box? Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Yeah, could you please help me read in the box? Okay. Use the plus a noun when their header, the re reader already has a reference of the noun you are referring to. Use the plus count noun to express that the noun is specific as opposed to general. Augmented reality has the ability to blur the boundaries between the physical and digital world. The business that win the battle of customer service can, can gain a competitive advantage. The ability to offer a self-service approach to consumers is very important. 2017 will be the year of technology in customer service. The term Zero article is used to refer to the case when a noun is not preceded by an article, a, an, or the. No article, zero article is used with proper nouns, mass nouns, 
and plural count nouns where the reference in general, not specific. The consumers are no more tech savvy or savvy teacher. Savvy. Savvy. Consumers in general, not specific consumers. The artificial intelligence can enhance the shopping mass none. Very good, perfect. So let's analyze into this one. Uh, at the beginning, it says use the plus a noun when the hearer or the reader already has a reference of the noun you are referring to. Uh, this is a review on the rules that we check, of course. So use the and a count noun to express that the noun is specific as opposed to general. So those are the rules here. And it says augmented reality has the ability, the ability to blur the boundaries between the physical and the digital worlds. Okay, it's so the boundaries and the physical. So there we're gonna use a uh, definite article. A question for everybody, what is blur? Okay, blur is um, an adjective when you can't see very well. For example, if you remove your glasses, sometimes you see blur. You can't see, you, dis you can't distinguish. So in this case, oh, well, let's take about the other word, boundaries. What is boundaries? The boundaries are like limits. Yes. Very good. Limits, barriers, things like that, right? So augmented reality has the ability to blur, so to, to remove the limits between the physical and digital world, something like that. Very good. The other one says the businesses that, so we're, spe we're speaking about specific things. The businesses that win the battle of customer service can gain a competitive advantage. So the businesses, the battle. The other one says the ability to offer a self-service approach to consumers is very important. So the ability, very important. 2017 will be the year of technology in customer service, okay? The year, because it's very specific. Uh, the other one is uh, something that we're going to check in other class, but we're going to start today. The term zero article is used to refer to the case when a noun is not preceded by an article, a, an, or the. No article, zero article is used with proper nouns, mass nouns, and plural count nouns where the reference is general, not specific. So this is very important. General, we are not going to use articles. For example, consumers are now more tech savvy. Not that consumer, but consumers, okay? Because it's consumers in general. The other one says, the article is not correct, okay? The artificial, I'm sorry. It's going to be artificial intelligence. Only. Artificial intelligence can enhance the shopping. Mass noun. Enhance, do you know what is enhance? Anybody? No. Enhance is like to reinforce, to uh, get more of something. So that is enhance. Okay, we're gonna do the exercise here. It says, cross out any unnecessary determiners. 
compare your answers with a partner. So uh, the customer service is there. So social robots already work in, okay, is necessary there, they are not necessary. What do you believe? For me, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Yeah. It's not necessary. Definitely. In customer service. In, in this moment, no, it's necessary. It's not necessary. In the future. <laughs> yeah, because it's not, it's not specific, right? So the other one is that, that technology has changed the way the businesses interact with customers. Has changed their way and their technology. What do you think? It's necessary, yes. In both technology and mm, way? The technology has changed. Yes. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, mm -hmm. only the way. Very good. Yes. So we have two different opinions. Yes, the technology has changed <clears throat> the way. For me, in both. Okay. Well, actually, the first one is not necessary. Technology has changed the way. And the mm -hmm. second one, yes. The first one, no. Technology in general. Mm -hmm. Let's check number three. Businesses are taking full advantage of the smartphone revolution. Businesses are taking full advantage of... Mm -hmm. I think that... It's not necessary. Not and, necessary. Mm -hmm. um, at the beginning and um, of the smartphone. For me, it's business are taking full advantage of a smartphone. Okay. okay. And the rest of the people, what do you believe? Actually, here is necessary. Yeah, the smartphone revolution, that revolution, that specific revolution. So in this one, yes, is necessary. Uh, we're going to check into the zero article in another class, so don't worry about this one, okay? So number four, it says, through mobile apps, the retailers and customers real-time information about the products and offers. What do you believe? It's okay. In both. It's fine in both. Anybody else's? Hmm. Yes, I believe. Okay. There is hand here. Well, actually, in this one, uh, the retailers is not necessary. Yes. But and the products, yes. The products, no, neither. About products. Mm. Listen to this one, for example. Through mobile apps, retailers send customers real-time information about products and offers. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessary in both. Okay. Then number five says the big data mm. analytics in, is changing how the businesses operate and communicate with customers. Is necessary or is not necessary? That big data analytics. <laughs> I believe uh -huh. it's necessary. To Yes, I believe, yes, it's necessary uh, for uh, more uh, best or, or, or best operate and communicate. Okay. Well, actually, in this one, it's not necessary. You can say big data analytics is changing how the business like that, not the. And the number six says, they continually gather and analyze the data to improve the experience, the experience. What do you believe? It's not necessary. 
in which one? The data or the experience? Mm. Uh, for the data, for me, it's not necessary, but the experience, yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. That is correct. So for the data, not necessary. The experience, yes, it's necessary. Very good. Okay, the zero article, this last part, we're going to check that one in other class. Okay, so don't worry if by now you don't understand very well. Yes, the class of today is there, only the uses of that. Uh, but in the book is together, but we're going to check into that one in a class in other day, not today. Okay. Um, we have chance for a uh, free practice, but before that one, we have a homework for tomorrow. Something very easy. Okay, very, very, very easy. It's a speaking homework, okay? What are we going to do? We're going to do something that is very common in school uh, in the United States. It's something that is called bring and tell. So you are going to bring something to the class. It can be anything. Something that is special for you something that is important, something that you like, anything. If it's big, you can bring a picture and explain. So what is going to happen is that you are going to bring that object or thing or anything, and you are going to explain what is that and why is this special for you. That is it. So tomorrow is bring and tell day. Do you have questions about the homework? You don't have to prepare anything. Just think about that. What is it? How, do I, how you are going to explain and why this is important for you? That is it. Questions about the homework? Teacher. Yep. Yeah. Will you repeat, please? I, I didn't understand that you will. Okay. So tomorrow, for the classes tomorrow, we're going to do an activity that is called bring and tell. What you are going to do is that you are going to show in the camera an object, a picture, a situation, anything. Show. And you are going to tell what is this and why is special or important for you. Okay. Good. Thank you. Any other question about the homework for tomorrow? No questions. Very good. Yes, yes, teacher. Uh, at all, at all, any, anything? Anything. I if like you want, it. Yeah, if you want to bring your cat, if you want to bring a, a cup that is very special for you, if you want to bring a cap, if you want to bring anything that is good, special or important for you. That is it. Okay. Good. Any other question about the homework for tomorrow? It's going to be very easy, okay? It's just for you to speak and I want to listen to you. That is the only thing. Okay, so the class of today, the main class was only the use of the article the. You see that is not difficult. Maybe we need to be careful uh, on the situation when you don't use it. But we are going to check the zero article in other class as I was telling you. So don't worry about that one if you don't get it in this class. That is going to be for other class. Do you have any questions about the class of today? We need more practice. We need more practice. And that's why tomorrow we have a homework about speaking. Nice. So we almost, 
No, you want to practice, <laughs> but you don't want to practice. <laughs> it's going to be very easy. Don't worry. I mean, it can be a shirt. It can be whatever that you want to show and tell. That is it. Very easy. Okay, so if we don't have any other questions, um, remember first also that we need to move on with the platform, okay? Uh, on Monday is the last class. So on Monday, not on Monday, for Sunday, we need to finish everything. The final test as well. So please move on with the platform. Do the exercises. If you have questions, the moment is right now, okay? So please remember that one and we're going to check the attendance. The one one of today is for Zulma Rosaura Lebeth. So let's check the attendance and here we go. Uh, Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Good night. Good night. Present, teacher. Excuse me. Perfect, Osmin. Thank you. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Teacher, I'm sorry, I have a problem. Ah, okay. No problem, Susan. I will set you up. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura Lopez Garcia. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Very good. Perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Have a nice Wednesday tomorrow and dream in English. See ya around. Good night. 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 Hello, Zulma. How are you? Hi, teacher. Um, I really, I am working. <laughs> Really still working? Yes. My uh, yes, my boss uh, needs a presentation for 8.30 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> I understand you. I used to have a job like that, and I, it was very good, but also was very tired and difficult. Yes. So and, yes, and you. Today is last day of month and all people are crazy. 
<laughs> I know. Everybody's <laughs> running and asking for many things. So I understand. Yes. What time do you usually finish when you stay at work late? Um, my mm, meta goal mm -hmm. is at uh, 11 p.m. Okay, 11. And are you working at the office or at home? At the office. And My goodness. Yes, yeah. I have to go to the office. Okay, well, I hope you finish and everything goes very well. Thank you. So tell me, how do you feel you're moving on with English? Uh, I think good, but uh, I need to practice more, but for work is complicated, uh, dedicate more time to the English, but uh, I try to practice. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know it's difficult because you have to do your job and there are many other things, family things. So yes, but it's a good idea whenever you have the chance to practice a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, do you have any questions or any anything related to the module or the last module? Any question that you have? Uh, no, I I complete the platform and only uh, the homework for tomorrow you can can you explain me again? Yes, it's going to be very easy. You are going to bring an object to the class, something uh -huh. that is special for you because of many reasons. For example, imagine that you bring uh, something like this and uh -huh. you explain what is this, okay? This is something that you use for you to drink water. Soldiers okay. go to war and sometimes they have good water here so they get protected, many things. Uh -huh. And then you can explain why it's important for you. So this is important for me because it was a present from my mom and it was, uh -huh. I, I don't know, so something like that. Okay. So it's going to be very easy, I guess. It's just for you to bring something and speak, describe about that one and then uh, tell why it's important or special for you. Okay. Yeah, Thanks. it's very easy. Good. Thank you. And, uh, what about... Um, the skills of English, which one do you believe is the most difficult for you? I mean, uh, we have speaking, we have listening, we have writing, reading. Which one do you believe is the most difficult for you? Uh, for me, is speaking. I understand uh, well, and the, read is, the reading is not complicated. I understand, but when I need to speak, <laughs> no, it is more difficult to con okay. construct the, oh, ajá, como, como armarlas. Lo, lo que estoy pensando, traducirlo a, a inglés, eso se me complica. Ah, ok, entonces todavía piensa en español. Varias cosas, sí. <laughs> ok, ahí está, tiene que entrenar la mente, entonces. Lo que yo le sugiero es empaparse de las cosas que le gustan a usted en inglés si le gusta uh -huh. la música, escuchar música en inglés cantarlas, tratar de entenderlas sin traducirlas uh -huh. ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. otra cosa que se puede hacer es leer cosas que no sean tan complicadas ¿verdad? o sea, si uh -huh. se lee William Shakespeare en inglés, eso es bien complicado pero sí. algo pequeñito, historias cortas that is good eh, okay. también ver televisión una película que usted ya sabe qué es lo que pasa, que le gusta Full English, no Spanish, sin subtítulos. That is also very good. Mm -hmm. Entonces, poco a poco, sí, si usted sí. eh, va llenándose de actividades que eh, lleven inglés, mm -hmm. it's, going to be, it's going to be something that is going to help you para que usted vaya cambiando la manera en que piensa y traduce. So, that is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí, es que, no sé, por ejemplo, siento que sé varias palabras, pero ya a la hora que tengo que explicarlo en inglés es como se borra mi diccionario 
Pero eso es lo que siento que se me complica. Fíjese de que yo he visto que la pronunciación y cómo habla y todo lo que utiliza es bastante bueno. Yo creo que quizás es más miedo. O sea, de repente duda de si se usa esto o no se gusta esto, cómo es. Podría ser eso también. Sí, también. Ok. Usted sí. lánzase de cabeza y hable, ¿verdad? So, okay. if it's not correct, le vamos a corregir. Ok, thank you. It's a pleasure. Uh, do you have any other question, any other thing that you need? Eh, for the moment, no. Okay, perfect. So, Zulma, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night, that you finish very soon, and that tomorrow everything goes well. Okay, thank you. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye now.